Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, teacher. Doing great. Very good happy to be good. here. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are you today? Fine, teacher. Very glad. I am very happy to see you. I hope you have had a beautiful weekend and that you are ready to start this week. This week is going to be normal from Monday to Thursday, okay? And the next week as well. Yay! You have your free Friday this week. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we appreciate it. Okay, good, 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 good. Eric, you have problems with the camera? Okay, good. I will take it into account. So, tell me three things about your weekend. We are going to start with that activity today. And I need you to send me three things on the chat. What you love about your weekend, what you like about your weekend, and something that you cannot stand about the weekend. Okay, I am going to send it to you on the chat. Hello, Daisy, tell me. Ah, yeah, yeah, you told me that, yeah, I know, I understand. That you have a terrible sore throat, right? But you're going to be listening. You can use the chat, okay? You can use the chat to communicate. I have I have all those abilities to understand the, the signs, the mimics and everything, but you can use the chat. If you need to tell me something or ask me any question, do it through the chat and I will be pendant, okay? Perfect. So, and um, we are going to do this activity. I'm going to send it to you on the chat here. And this is going to be about your weekends. And you are going to answer about these three things that I am going to ask you here. And I love to, I like to, and I can't stand. Something that you love to do on your weekends or something that you love to about your weekend. I like to, and I can't stand. The meaning of can't stand is something that you no, I totally hate that. Hate is right here. Can't stand, it's over here. It's worse than that, okay? About your weekend, something that you love, something that you like, and something that you can't stand. For example, on my weekends, I love to watch movies. I like to cook, but I can't stand doing extra things from work on the weekend. It's like, <laughs> I can't stand that. Okay, Katia, I got answers. Very good. Send me the answers on the chat. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I love to see movies with my child. Remember that with the movies, we use watch. I love to watch. I love to visit my mom. Very good. More examples, more examples. Welcome to all the ones that are joining. I sent you three sentences on the chat for you to uh, complete. I love to clean my yard and my plants. Ah, yeah, I, look, I like to do that too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. I love to sleep all day. <laughs> what a beautiful thing. I, I used to do that, but now I have a little alarm clock that is like, mom, are you busy? Are you sleeping? And I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah. I love to visit thanks. my son. Uh -huh. Thanks, God. I don't have children. <laughs> Only my cat. So only your cat, okay? Soon, one day. <laughs> and like, the cat, no. the cat is your children. Yeah, the cat is your it's your child because it's if it's only one, it's your child. If it's many, if there are many cats, they are your children. No, but cats are like little babies. When they are hungry, he, he, my goodness, me, 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 <laughs> until you give them food. <laughs> I love to drink Coca Cola. Yay! I run, she, I run, teacher, my children. <laughs> Two. Oh, okay, yep. I only have one, but it's like three in one. <laughs> um, 
with my husband, three children. <laughs> so I have to. <laughs> I can count on that. Yeah. And I say like, why are you fighting? <laughs> the two of them. Yes. <laughs> they are like little kids. I like to watch in movies. Okay. Bodies. In the case of I like to, you have a normal verb after two. So yeah, I like to watch movies, right? I can stand waking up early or I can stand to wake up early. I love to drink Coca-Cola. <laughs> I can stand to cook. I like to cook delicious food. I love to go to the party on weekends. Sometimes I love to sleep. I love to play soccer with my children. Very nice. I love to ride my bicycle and I like to watch movies. I like to drink chicken soup. Yay. Yes, Daisy. Chicken soup is very delicious on the weekend. Or mostly hand soup. Hand soup, that is gallina soup. Very good. Hand soup. I love going to a walk, going, going for a walk with my daughter. Good. I love to go running. Very good. Let me see the last ones that I have. I love to be, to be out of my house, Dennis. I love to be out of my house. To being, no, right? I love to be out of my house. I can't stand the traffic, they say. Ay, yeah. During the week, on the week, <laughs> in the morning, in the night. Yes, I can stand. I can stand to do exercise in the morning. Yeah. It's like uh, you are just sleeping, right? You are just getting the idea of being back. <laughs> the traffic now, it's really horrible. Oh my God. It's like, no. <laughs> So it's really, really horrible. Good, very good. So my dear students, thank you very much for sharing. I really love when you share all your ideas with me. I can stand uh, to do exercise. I like to sing rock music, Dennis, yay. Who is your favorite singer? Which one, your microphone is off? Gustavo Cerati from Soda Stereo. Very good, so soft rock very nice yeah because heavy metal and the other ones are like ah, metallica do you like metallica they say uh, yeah sometimes <laughs> depending on the mood right depending on the mood very good i like it too well excellent job my dear students excellent job on your answers right you see i had you working on the different answers just for three different sentences right and that is something that you can do take one topic take one topic and then you can get a lot of answers from that topic right so tell me i have a this a this question okay on the previous class, on the last class that we were working, we were working on the midterm evaluations, right? We were working on the platform, working on the midterm exams. And most of you were saying, hey, but I connect to the classes, but I am here the 60 minutes. What's going on? The time starts running from eight to nine, right? So you have to be on time. You have to be early because one or two minutes makes a difference. So please connect on time. I sometimes connect like two or three minutes before eight. And I hope all of you are connected by that time. So this week, please, 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 please try to connect before. A little bit before eight, I will be dependent of you here. I will connect around five minutes before, but the time that they count is from eight to nine sharp. Okay, so please, 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 I need you to be here on time for the class, right? In some cases you say, me conecté a las ocho y dos, a las ocho y tres. Yes, but those minutes are lowered on the count. So please, my dear class, let's try to connect exactly minutes before eight. And then at eight, when we start the class, your count starts with the 60 minutes, right? It is just for these last two weeks. Let's do that little challenge of being here early and being on the class on time, okay? And in some cases, uh, they say that, but you don't have the 50%. Maybe you have 49.6 because you have some minutes uh, under the, the limit. Yes, buddies? 
uh, the platform uh, went out uh, to everybody uh, last week. I remember, I, I don't know what happened with that time because uh, for one of us, it was impossible to connect it after what uh, after happened that. Yes, in some cases, it is this week. I mean, they have had a lot of issues. That's another thing that I am always saying. So in, if it's your case that you couldn't connect to the meeting anymore, so we can actually express it, right? And some of you send the message in the chat and that's good. For example, right? Si alguno de ustedes le falla la plataforma o ya no pueden conectarse a Zoom, Repórtenlo rapidito, así como estoy intentando conectarme y la plataforma no me funciona. Directo al facilitador, directo al, al encargado. ¿Okay? ¿Quién, es, ¿Quién es nuestra encargada de inglés corporativo? A ver, a ver, ¿cómo se llama? Paola. Ah, ay, no me acuerdo. Paola. Paola. Paola Aquí a Paola. <ríe> Niña. Ok, Paola, sí, rapidito. O sea, eso sí es importante. That's very, very important. Straight to her. Okay. Es, mira, yep. A mí me pasó eso similar en la semana pasada y lo puse en el chat que me estaba sacando, pero ella nunca me contestó ni me dijo nada y ahí lo puse. No, ok, but the, it, that's good because you have the proof that you reported. Ok, así nos queda la prueba de que nosotros reportamos. Ok, mm -hmm. so in that case I always say, try to do it, try to report on time. If anything happens, for example, if electricity went out of your, in your house, right? Imagínese le fue la luz. So report it on the moment, right? If you are sick, for example, try to connect and uh, try to connect as a listener, but connect, okay? It is important, even if, if you are as a listener and you say, teacher, I am sick and, and I will be listening to the class only, right? But that minutes are going to count. So let's try to, to keep it there, okay? Si se enferman, por ejemplo, si sienten muy mal o algo, conéctense, conéctense a la clase y estén, tal vez no van a participar al 100%, pero pueden estar ahí de oyentes, okay? That's very important. Every single minute counts, okay? So that's my recommendation. And it was not that you were, that you had 20% que tenían 10%, 20%, no. 46, 44, 45, 47, 48, 49, 47, but it's that the little minutes make a big difference okay so let's try to stay connected we only have this well not counting today seven more classes so please let's take advantage of that okay después de este momento motivacional <laughs> do we need to connect to classes <laughs> let's go back to business we were talking about relative clauses right we were talking about relative clauses using who and using which right? That is for both cases, right? We can use that for both cases. But when we are using them, we can, I, I have here two examples, right? And these are the ones that we had on the platform, right? Have you heard of West Side Story? Yes, it's a musical. It has some wonderful songs. In this mm -hmm. case, we are talking about something, an object, right? In this case, the musical. What is the name of the musical in this case? What is the name? West, West, West Side, Side Story. West, West Side, Side, Side Story. Story. Okay, West Side Story. And it says, yes, it's a musical. It has some wonderful songs. If you want to join. Yeah, Boris, tenías otra pregunta? No, no, no. Okay, good. <laughs> it's because your hand was up. Don't worry. Okay, okay. let me just help you with that. There you go. Okay. Yes, it's a musical. How can you join? Which it? has Which some wonderful songs. Which has some wonderful songs. Very good. What's the movie Schindler's List about? It is about an Austrian man. He saved the lives of many people during World War II. Are you talking about the movie or are you talking about the person? The person. person. You are talking about the person. What type of person is spe uh, specifically? Uh, Austrian men. <laughs> an Austrian <laughs> man, right? An Austrian man. In this case, you say it is about an Austrian man who saved, who saved, who saved, saved the, the lives, lives of lives many of people, people during, during World War, War, War II. II. Very good. The next one says, Did you enjoy reading Stephen King's uh, Stephen King's latest novel? Yes, it was a great book. It was hard to put down. This one we are talking about. 
A book. book. The book. book. Very the good. Book. You're using the book. Yes, it was a great book. Which, 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 which was, was hard to, was hard hard to put down. down. Very good job. What about number four? Maritza, can you help me with number four? Who was George Gershwin? Uh -huh. He was an American com composer. Composer? Composer. He was an American composer who wrote lots of fantastic music. Very good job. Who wrote lots of fantastic music because you're talking about him. What about number five? Anna, can you help me with number five? Yes. Who is Steven Spielberg? He's a movie director. Director. Director, which made some of the most successful movies of all time. Okay, which is uh, uh, do we very good? Oh, sorry, very good <laughs> because, <laughs> because we don't use which for people. We use yeah. who. That is the, about the person. Very good. That is the one that we can use with both, right? You can say yeah. he's a movie director that made some of the most successful movies of all time. Good. Mm -hmm. And or who in this case, because it's about a person. So in, in this one, we have three, five examples. I have Tom Cruise is an actor who blah, blah, blah. Star Wars is a movie which, which, which Walt Disney was famous. Walt Disney was a famous movie director. Who? who? And then who? you can give me what? Who? Marilyn Monroe was an actress. Who? who? And The Wizard of Which. Oz is a musical. Which? 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 Choose two of them and create one sentence. Choose two of them and create one sentence in your notebook. Go ahead. I will choose different people to give me answers. Voy a agarrar cinco de ustedes así random para que me den su respuesta. A los más sonrientes. <laughs> <Todo serio. laughs> choose a two and create two sentences for sure with logical uh, the complementary part right don't tell me Tom Cruise is an actor who lives in my neighborhood Big, well we never know Please. Ready. I am going to ask Andrea Geraldine, uh, Iris Regina, let me see, Noemi. I don't finish. <laughs> I know, but work, 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 work on that. Don't worry. I understand that very well, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for example. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. My example. Okay, give One. me your example. Let's okay. Go. I don't know. El Señor de los Cielos with telenovela de Telemundo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you have to choose the examples that I have here. Don't complicate that much. Right? But you can say El Señor de los Cielos is a movie which you can see or you can watch in Telemundo. Good <laughs> example. It was original. Very good, right? El Señor de los Cielos no nos paga nada por este comercial. Tom Cruise is an actor who stars Top Gun's film, right? Who stars, right? Very good. Tom Cruise is an actor who stars uh, Top Gun films or who appears in Top Gun movies. Good. Excellent. That was a good example, Regin, <laughs> about El Señor de los Cielos. Let me see. What about... Uh, the rest, do you have another example? I asked Andrea, I asked Regina. Let me see. Sure. Uh -huh. I, uh, 
I can use the which. It's, yes, if, it, if it's um, about an object, for example, a Star Wars or The Wizard of Oz, you can use which. Okay. Who else has one example? I have mm -hmm. one teacher. Okay, Erin. Marilyn, Mor Marilyn Monroe was an actress who was killed. And Star Wars is a movie which is about the fight between evil, between good and evil. Very good examples, right? Marilyn Monroe was an actress who was killed. Yes, like Selena, right? Very good. Selena was another actress who was killed. Very good examples. And another one, let me see. Jenny, do you have an example? Tom Cruise is an actor who has starred in many movies. Okay, who has starred in many movies. Very good. Who has been, who has been the main character in many movies. Very good job. Katia, do you have an example? Adam Sandler is an actor uh, who uh, son como niños, I don't remember the name. Who appeared, who appeared, who appeared in, in Son Como Niños, in? right? The movie. Very yes. good. Excellent. Another original example. Very good job. Let me see. Anna, do you have one example? Mm, the Wizard of Oz is a musical that I never watched. That I have never watched. That I have never watched. Or I have never seen. <laughs> yeah. Noemi, yeah. do you have an example? Uh, Walt Disney was a famous movie director the El Pato Donald. Okay. Remember? Oh, very good. We have here. And important, it is very important that we use the verb after this one. For example, Walt Disney was a famous movie director who created who? or who invented El Pato Donald. Who invented El Pato Donald. Uh -huh. Remember that after who, you need to have another verb and the complement, right? Ooh, For example, okay. I can say, Teacher Nati is a teacher who works for Inglés Corporativo, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, there you have one example. I can say, Inglés Corporativo is a company that offers English courses for Salvadorian people, right? And we have another example. If I say, the cell phone is an object that, how can we complement that one? The cell phone is an object that is used to make phone calls. Is used to make phone calls. Very good job. The computer. Uh, the computer is an invention is an invention which which is used for a lot of people is useful for many people very good so remember that after the who the what or which you need to have a complement on which you are going to use a verb and the rest of the sentence it's if sure. i yes Sorry. it's correct say star wars is a movie which created by george lucas which was uh, which, which was, was created oh, okay. Okay. which was okay. created by George Lucas okay. Star Wars is a movie which which, uh, which yeah. like a lot Ronald Reagan okay mm -hmm. Boris in that sentence Star Wars is a movie which like a lot Ronald Reagan okay Star Wars is a movie which Ronald Reagan like a lot. a lot okay, okay. With Ronald Reagan, like a lot. Marilyn Monroe was an actress who was considered because she is not here anymore. Okay. Marilyn Monroe was an actress who was considered the cutest woman ever. After all, my students, right? Después de todas mis estudiantes, Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> yeah. she, was con she was considered the cutest woman ever. Tom Cruise is an actor who is considered one of the most handsome, handsome in show business. I agree with you. <laughs> Who is considered one of the most handsome in show business. Yeah, I he, don't know, teacher. <laughs> but, but he is considered, right? <laughs> he is considered one of the handsome, one of the most handsome men on earth. Okay, so based on this one, I am going to go here to my book and I have some questions for you. I have a couple of questions here. 
Let's see. Here. It says, talk about. Okay, can you see my, my little uh, game on the screen? Yes? I'm going to make it bigger and I will move it around. Okay. Talk about a person who is famous. Tell me one person that is famous. Shakira. Okay, so you say Shakira is a person who is famous. 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 Okay, famous, no. Cada vez que decimos famous, se mueve un diccionario. Okay, <laughs> don't do that. Larus. Es un Larus. Rip, rip Larus. <laughs> Talk about a person who is famous. Shakira is a person who is very famous. Someone else. Who else is famous? Messi. Messi. So you say Messi is what? What, what does he do? He is a soccer player. Messi is a soccer player who? Win. Won. Who won? Uh -huh. Won. The World the Cup. World. Very good. World Cup. Very good job. Ding, 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 ding. Excellent. Aha. Another famous person. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Selena. Marito Rivera. <laughs> Marito <laughs> Rivera. Okay, Marito Rivera is what? Thing. It's a musician. It's a musician. Let's say a musician or a singer. Marito mm -hmm. Rivera is a singer who who born in San Miguel. Is, who what is what is we're missing something? Was born. Who was born? Very what? good job. Ding, 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 ding. Excellent. Who was born in San Miguel? I didn't know. I didn't know. Ahorita me acabo de enterar. Talk about a place where you can relax in El Salvador, where you can relax. The Cameron. The Cameron. The Cameron Hotel is a place. Which, which is mm -hmm. beautiful. <laughs> the Cameron Hotel. The Cameron Hotel. Where you can drink with beautiful. <laughs> it's a place where you can drink. Sex in the fish. I know. I know. Best resort. I don't know the Cameron. It's the best okay. resort. Which is That's the best resort. resort? Yeah. Well, it is beautiful, but you have to walk too much. Yeah. It is like, let's go to there. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> then you are so tired that you don't enjoy. Okay, so El Tunco Beach. El Tunco Beach is a place which 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 is famous for a lot of which, Which is is the for the tourists? Okay, very good. El Tunco Beach, el tu Perdón, perdón de cámara. El Tunco Beach is a place which is famous for tourists. Good, very good job. Talk about a time when you were surprised. Talk about a time when you were surprised. For example, my sweet 15 party was a moment in my life on which I was really surprised. Later on, I can tell you why. <laughs> why? Tell. Because my mother did refreshment to give with the dinner, but it didn't have alcohol or anything. But my friends put alcohol in the refreshment. And the refreshment was given for boys, for girls, for kids, for adults, for everybody. And, <laughs> and everybody were very happy at the party. Everybody. And I didn't know why. So it I was, was a good party. Ooh, it was party. <laughs> <laughs> I was happy. Everybody were very happy and then ha 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 and dancing and no fighting, no nothing. And I said, like, hmm, strange, I said. Curious, so that's why I was very surprised. But then they said, right? 
because I didn't have ladies with my with as my as my my uh, well the ones that were with me the ones that were accompanying I just had 15 boys accompanying my my party right because they have sometimes girls and boys right but I just had boys I had 15 boys yeah so different boys were like yeah I put some me too me too me too so the refreshment was a total crazy drink and everybody, niños, niñas, abuelitos, everybody drank refreshment. And they say, it's very good. It's very good. Yeah, it was very good because it was totally mm -hmm. alcoholized. And that's why I was very surprised. Tell me a moment in your life on which you were very surprised. Think about it. Was the better dream it's that I had? the tried. best moment in your life, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it was, believe me. <laughs> The, the the party finished at four in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> and I woke up at 11 the next day. Teacher, <laughs> invite you the, the other party, please. Yes. <laughs> yes, Very true. Yeah, when I get 40, I am going to make another one. <laughs> and go over. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was like uh, with the crown. Yo llevaba una corona y la tenía como incrustada. <laughs> In the morning. That was a great day, believe me. So tell me a moment on which on which you were surprised. Or a moment that you enjoy in your life. Think about it. You say like, I don't have any. Yeah, maybe you have one. I don't know, when you became a, a, a parent and you saw your kid, I don't know, or when you figure out that you were pregnant and that you were going to become a mother, or I don't know, the first time that you, you work or when you drive, I don't know, different things might surprise you. Think about that. E, no idea. <laughs> Tenemos que ser más aventureros, niños, ya vi. Let's see. Who has kids here? Raise your hand if you have sure. kids or children. Yeah, Katia. Maybe, maybe when, uh, when I pregnant. <laughs> when I realized. Because, uh -huh. realized, yes, because I think, um, I think that that I uh, colitis. <laughs> <laughs> colitis, queremos verte. <laughs> okay, dice like the, the day I realized I was pregnant because yes. I thought I was sick. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> El colitis anda por ahí, ya tiene como once años. Yeah, yeah the, 15 años. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Francisco, you are very quiet today. Tell me about a moment that you were surprised in your life. Please, teacher. <laughs> a moment in your life on which you felt surprised. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> you don't have an idea? No. Francisco, do you have kids? Nunca he tenido una buena experiencia. No, 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 no. but I mean, like, ¿tienes hijos? No. No. Ah. Uh, eh, uh, <laughs> thank <laughs> you for no Thank you. Another one like Philomena. Thank God I don't have kids. <laughs> okay, let me see. Who has kids? Raise your hand if you have kids. ¿Quién más tiene hijos? Levanten su manita si tienen hijos. No, only Katia. Okay, Jenny. Yes. Okay, Jenny, how do you tell me how did how did you feel when you saw your baby? Uh, I how I was I was uh, really happy. <laughs> okay, I was really happy. Nadia, tell me. Uh, I when I I found out I was pregnant. 
<laughs> when you say like, ah, no, it's not. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> so that was, yeah. that, that was a, a surprise. I so surprised, I very surprised. <laughs> when you felt very surprised. Tell me about something that you hate. Hate. Mm -hmm. In this moment, teacher. No, in general. For example, I, I can say I, arriving late is something that I hate. I hate. I don't, I don't need. I okay. Don't need. So you say ironing is something that I hate. Uh, uh, I don't need. Is something. I hate. Is something. That I hate. That I hate. Boris. Okay, I hate when government uh, announced the pandemic and nobody can go out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, okay, so you say, uh, being in quarantine, being in quarantine is something that I hate it. Okay, being in quarantine. Is something that I hate it. Well, but later on, it was nice, right? Después de unos días era chido. I was like, yeah, I am at home. Yay, doing nothing. Okay, another thing that you hate. Tell me. Me, me well, teacher. Me okay. teacher. Oh, okay, Nadia, Nadia, go ahead, Nadia, and then Erika. Um, I hate the traffic of this day on the way to, to my work. Okay, the traffic on the way to my work is something that I hate. Yes. Very good, Erika. Okay, um, work, work in, in the, in Sunday. Uh -huh. is working on Sunday. Uh -huh. It's something that I hate. Working on Sundays is something that I hate. Daisy says, I was surprised when my mom told us to start building our house. Wow. <laughs> yes, I, think, I imagine that it was a very beautiful moment when they say, okay, we're going to start building our own house. That would be fun. I want to try. Yeah. Dennis, go ahead. To be between jobs is something that I hate. Okay, to be between jobs, right? When you have to switch and you have to do one thing and then another one and then another one. Okay, very good job. Excellent. Arabin, tell me something that you hate. I hate when people make me wait too much. Okay. People who make me wait is something that, that I, hate. I hate. Very good job. Okay, excellent. Let me see. Me. Yes, go ahead. I need to try. I hate the people who put uh, relleno de pacaya. <laughs> people who cooks relleno de pacaya <laughs> are someone who I hate. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I hate people who cook relleno de pacaya. Definitely. Yes. Pacayas. Pacayas are like, like flor de sote. My God. Flor, flor de sote. Yes. Flor de sote like, is our is like national a symbol. Pacaya, teacher. We love pacayas. <laughs> you love pacayas. People don't eat the national symbols. The flor de sote is our national symbol. Don't eat it. Right? Yes, so, I like it. I like the rellenos, the flor de sote. <laughs> no, don't imagine, imagine that the flor de sote disappear. <laughs> yes. Don't eat it. <laughs> don't eat it, right? You don't have to eat it. Please don't do it. Okay, don't do that. That is not from God. <laughs> or, well, the broccoli is good. Many people do not like it and they say, like, mm, yes. So it's like complicated. Tell me, people. As I was telling you the other day, we were working with interesting and interested, right? And the different, the different combinations of adjectives when you use with ing and when you use with ed, right? What kind, what kinds of TV programs are you interested in? In this question, for example, if I say, what kind of in, uh, what kind of TV programs are you interested in? For example, you tell me, ah, teacher, I like comedies. I like action uh, series. I like a uh, family series, right? Or I like uh, dramas, or I like dramas, or I like soap operas. What kind of TV programs are you interested in? I need three or four volunteers. 
you can raise your hand. I can see your camera, don't worry. I'm interested in thriller TV series. Okay, I am interested in thrillers. Very good, Maritza. I like it to uh, cook programs. Okay, cooking programs, good. Jenny. I like uh, comedies. Comedies, okay, I am interested in comedies. I am interested in cooking oh. shows. I am interested in thrillers, very good. When was the last time you were embarrassed? Embarrassed is a penado, no embarazado, okay? <laughs> Big, <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it happens, right? No ha pasado en otra. Ay, el año, el mes pasado. No. Yes? What is your favorite program, TV show, or anime, or... Okay, my, know. you know, I am I'm, I'm kind of curious because I like, I like many different programs, but I am interested in suspense. Serious, uh, yeah. I love the movie Suspense. X Files. I no? like, yeah, I like the X Files. I like oh. Criminal Minds. Paranormal and, serious. Well, paranormal, not that much, but suspense on which you have to investigate who was the killer, how did they do it, and everything. I like those. <laughs> I like Crazy. those. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Yeah. Yo sé que me veo como esas que ven películas románticas, but no. <laughs> sorry, but no, sorry. I like them. I like them. The girly movies. I like them, but I love the suspense movies. Uh, uh, how do you say sports? Sports? Sports. Uh -huh. Sports. Sports, okay. uh, sports programs. Sports okay. programs, okay. Okay. Tell me, when was the last time that you felt embarrassed? Oh. You can say, I felt embarrassed last week. I felt embarrassed today in the morning. I felt embarrassed, uh, I don't know, last last year when this happened. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que se sintieron apenados? That you say like, oh my God, sorry. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I, am, I, am, I went I was, to- I was, or I, I went, uh -huh. I, I was, went to- um, No, I went, I went I to- I went, sorry, sorry, went to um, um, the market. Mm -hmm. um, no sé cómo se dice, el pantalón se me cayó. <laughs> my, my pants no. went down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Señor, su pantalón. <laughs> no, por suerte no me vieron. <laughs> Pero sí, casi siempre tiene una señorita que me cayó. <laughs> yeah. The last time that I felt embarrassed is when I told a girl that I was happy for her pregnancy and she was not pregnant. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and I said, I am so happy for your baby. And I touched her. I touched her belly. And she told me, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> like Paris Hilton. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I felt so bad. I felt so bad. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I mean, she looked pregnant. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Bodies, when was the last time that you felt embarrassed? Well, I. I remember that uh, I lose one shoe <laughs> in, in, in the, uh, on the bus, in the bus, <laughs> when I uh, uh, get off the bus. <gasps> in the uh, shoes. I, 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 I felt so embarrassed. I had to buy a, a, a shoes in, in, a, in the market. <laughs> <laughs> so that was like Cinderella story okay someone someone found your shoe right if you are watching this video and you found a shoe on the bus it's Boris okay thank you very much okay. Cinderella I'm stories I'm waiting for I will be waiting for that very good okay. let me see uh, uh, Sara when was the last time that you felt embarrassed Repeat, teacher, por please. When, when was the last time that you felt embarrassed? Cuando te sentiste apenada. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez? Oh, my God. <laughs> no padezco de eso. <laughs> okay. It's like... <laughs> it's like... No, no. Okay, so... No that's... remember, no remember. You don't remember. <laughs> okay, good. So, one last volunteer. Let me see. Dina. 
Uh, excuse me, teacher. When was the last time that you felt embarrassed? Number two. <laughs> okay, we, we are listening to us. No remember, teacher. <laughs> you don't remember. Okay. That's, okay. That's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Teacher. I yes. In my case, um, I get embarrassed. Embarrassed. When I call embarrassed. Embarrassed. When I call the person by another other name. By another name, right? Yeah. When you call someone uh, in a different name, <laughs> so you say today, Daisy. Daisy felt embarrassed today, right? I hate people that don't let me wake up late. Yeah. Uh, one day, I remember that I was on the bus, and I normally have a red lipstick. I mean, I I love red lipstick, but this was before COVID, right? And I had red lipstick, and I was like all there, all so sexy on the bus, and the bus just stopped. And I crashed behind oh a boy. God. I crashed behind a boy, and all my lipstick oh my was on the chair. And I was like, eh, "Run, <laughs> 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 poor <laughs> man, yeah." Si está viendo este video, señora, fue un accidente. Okay, <laughs> it was me. <laughs> now he's single because of you. Divorce, <laughs> Noemi, go ahead. Uh, in my case, teacher. Uh, with my son shoes got struck in the electric stand. <gasps> I oh. was feeling him shoes in the people. What? <laughs> and I peleando el zapato you... de mi hijo. <laughs> oh my God, what a dangerous thing. Well, it's, yeah. very, it's very dangerous, right? On yes. the electric, on the electric stairs. Yes. The shoes got stuck. Finish. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, as you can see, there are many moments on which you say like, Ay, no, no me puede estar pasando a mí. And yes, it happens, right? <laughs> it happens to you. Good. Let me see. I am going to go in and share this with all of you. The next question that I have for everybody is what makes you feel relaxed? What makes you feel relaxed? So you can say, eh, sleeping makes me feel relaxed or Listen to music. listening to music makes yeah. me feel relaxed. Running teacher, me... teacher, in my makes case is relaxed, sleeping. Sleeping, running, <laughs> good. What else makes you feel relaxed? Play Thank video you. games Oops. makes me feel relaxed. Playing video games. But cooking a good book. reading a good book very mm. nice eating <laughs> yay eating eating and cooking <laughs> let's see i have in the chat now i feel embarrassed because i haven't been able to talk to anybody <laughs> daisy <laughs> okay cooking riding a bicycle right it makes you feel relaxed i mean in some cases just existing makes me feel relaxed I just, Miss, uh -huh. in my case, the thing that it makes me feel relaxed is travel. Traveling. Wow, traveling. traveling. Traveling makes you feel relaxed. What a beautiful thing. Okay. Swimming in some case. Okay. The next one. What is the next question? Do you feel tired? Okay. Why or why not? Do you feel tired after class? Tired. Why or what not? Tired. Tired. <laughs> like, tired after class. Yeah. yeah. So class or not? <laughs> no, after this class, you feel relaxed because you laugh and you talk and everything. So I, I make you feel relaxed, I guess. Okay. Yo creo que ninguno es estresado hasta el momento. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, no. 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 It is but it's tired, teacher, because yeah. I work so, all so day. <laughs> sometimes I, I feel tired, but uh, oh, my work. <laughs> uh, from your work. Yes, <laughs> but, yeah, me too. <laughs> but this class is relaxed. <laughs> it makes you feel relaxed. I am, I am very happy because of that, that I make you feel relaxed. Yeah, because you laugh, you practice, you learn in, in everything. That's very Teacher, nice. can you repeat the correct pronunciation of that verb, please? Tired. Tired. 
Do you feel tired? Tired, tired. Tired? No, you say tired. 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 Thank you, teacher. Tired. tired. Very good. Why or why not? Okay. Good. I don't I don't feel tired after classes, believe me. That it makes me feel relaxed because I have the chance to talk to you. I have the pray that <laughs> tired of janta. <laughs> no, that's not tired of janta. It's tired. Tired de cansado. <laughs> <laughs> te siente llanta después de la clase <laughs> oh, and you checking on your tire after, la tengo to eat. <laughs> after, to eat. after <laughs> eating yes right? if this class were presential you will feel tired si la clase fuera presencial sí porque ahí los, sure. parara, los parara los moviera los hiciera correr en todo, that would be great Boris yes um, I feel tired uh, after do exercise after exercising, right? I feel tired after exercising. After exercising. After exercising. Yeah, for sure, because you have been uh, working out a lot. So you feel tired after exercise. Tell yes. me, let me see. I am going to go with the next one. Um, talk about a time you were terrified. Terrified that you were totally scared. <clears throat> Talk about a time you were terrified. Un momento que los hizo sentir totalmente asustados. Terrified. Terrified. That's another, well, that's a new word because terrible, it's one thing, but terrified is scared, totally scared. You're like, ah, terrified. Terrified. When, when, I, when I was missing in Soyapango. <laughs> When I was lost, when I was lost, you say, missing es que no te hallaban, right? When, <laughs> when I was lost, yeah. estaba perdido, andaba perdido. You didn't know where you were, right? When I was lost in Soyapan. Okay. Cuando when my mom lost me in the, in the supermarket. <laughs> in that case, when my mom, yeah, lose me, right? Me lose perdió me. or left me, me dejó. <laughs> ah. Yes, I felt terrified in the uh, in the earthquake in 2001. I felt totally terrified. I thought I was going to die. Teacher, in my case, is in in class. Uh huh. Uh, no, and I am not what to say. You feel uh, terrified. Yeah, yeah. Porque no sé muchas veces cómo decir las palabras en inglés. Eh, por eso muchas veces me quedo callado porque me da miedo. No. Poderme equivocar. No, come on. You know, that's the, that's the last thing you need to do. Because when you make mistakes, you learn. But if you don't speak, you don't advance. So it is better to take the risk and make mistakes than having like, ah, oh, you hubiera participado. Ah, no, in, in, in the moment, uh, in, in my mind, the construction, the phrase, the, the other, but in the moment they speak, um, me quedo trabado. Um, I get um, stuck, you say. I, I get, get stuck. stuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I get stuck in, 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 in my speak, or um, I stop it in, in my speak, speak. Um, Muchas veces no sé cómo, cómo hacerla. La conjugación me equivoco mucho. No, but that's, that's the idea, okay? Even, but that's a problem. O se me you... olvida en el momento. Ajá, that's a problem because if you don't practice, then later on, it's like, you will say like, ay, no practiqué, ay, después, y ahí lo va dejando. So it is better that you, that you actually do it, right? It doesn't matter if you make mistakes, but the idea is that you advance. Tell me, how can you help someone who is depressed? How can you help someone who is depressed? Uh -huh. How can Get you help? Job? Okay, getting, getting him a job. <laughs> Definitely, something to do, right? Something to do. How else can you help someone who is depressed? Give drinkings. Okay, giving giving this person drinks. Okay, good drinks, right? Not my refreshment. No, good drink <laughs> good with drink. a lot of hot coffee <laughs> and a good music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
sí comienza, ¿eh? de los temerarios. <risa> yo, en no, sí, yo, yeah, you will say, yo te voy a sacar de esta depresión. <risa> and then, the finally. Okay. My Batario Solís. Oh my God. Yes, Maritza. When my... Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. my daughter, yes. <laughs> ok, with your daughter. Ok. When my, my daughter, yes. Dies. Oh, when... Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a difficult moment, right? Because it, when did it happen? Many years ago? Ah. Uh, 28. 28 years ago, but it's still difficult, right? But in eh, some but, cases, uh huh. But, uh, como que fue ayer. Yeah, for sure. But in some cases, when you find help or when you talk to someone and you talk about the topic, it helps. Platicar con alguien acerca del tema y buscar una ayuda profesional helps a lot. In some cases, yeah. they say that uh, you can go to therapy because you are crazy or something. And no. You can go to therapy because you need help and that works a lot, right? So it's a very, very good thing. I know what I mean. It's, so, it's a difficult thing, but it can help you get over this the, the depression moment, right? Helping someone, getting with friends, talking to people, joining a group, finding special help can uh, be very useful if you are going under depression. And that's a normal thing nowadays, but many people don't talk about it. Uno dice, no, si esto es normal, que me sienta deprimido. It is not normal. So we need to find help. That was my, my human moment of the day. <laughs> Busquemos ayuda. Vamos a terapia. <laughs> it's good. I'm going to call the attendance before everybody, okay? Before everybody leaves, because if not, I am taking your time. Alba Colombina? Alvita. Ok. Sí. Yes. Alba Colombina. Not here today. Yes, no. ¿Qué es el sonido? Uy, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Alejandro José. Alejandro José. Don Alejandro. Hey, ¿qué pasó ahora, don Alejandro? <coughs> Alicia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Andrea Geraldine. Present teacher. Andrea Michelle. Present teacher. Blanca Marisol. Present teacher. Boris Martín. Here teacher. Brian Isaac. Brian. Le escribieron teacher. The chat. Le dice, no le funciona el micrófono. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Veamos. Thank you. Denis Isaías. Present. Thank you very much. Daisy Carolina. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. She's here. She's sick, but she's here. Dina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Elba Carolina. Present teacher. Eric Ernesto. Present teacher. Erika Maidel. Present teacher. Francisco Alberto. Present teacher. Iris Regina. Is here, teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Yes. And... Jessica Janet. Thank you. Present, she says. Jose Ervin. Present, teacher. Juan Eduardo. Present, teacher. Eh, Katia Graciela. Present, teacher. Maritza Isabel. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nadia. Present teacher. Noemi. Present teacher. Ricardo de Jesús. Ronald Antonio. Present teacher. Sara Nalda. Present teacher. Vida Lebelio. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Well, my dear class, thank you very much for answering and thank you very much for a uh, your participation on the questions, right? That was very good. So <clears throat> going back a little bit on what we are going to do tomorrow in class, we are going to work a little bit on, well, you can go over the reading, right? Ahí tienen una lectura acerca de Star Wars for you to practice, right? 
and we are going to get new vocabulary. If you get new vocabulary from the reading, uh, please let me know. And tomorrow we are going to start with section number four, that it's about body language. Here in El Salvador, this is very, very common and very famous. So please investigate about body language and the meaning of it, okay? We are going to use this one and we're going to talk about models. That will be for tomorrow. Así que si pueden avanzar un poquito en investigar acerca de los models y el body language, that will be perfect because we're going to be using that tomorrow. So my dear students, have a wonderful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class, okay? Models and body language, okay? Bye-bye, class. Bye. 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 Have a Bye. wonderful Bye. night. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Bye.